All right, so first pick your model and download it. Click. All right, let's save it. And let's extract it. Extract all, extract. And here we are. I'm just gonna move these files over here. So this is what we have to focus on, the YTD file and the YDD. Next, we're gonna get OpenIV. We gotta download it, of course, and save it. Once it's done, let's run it and continue. Accept the terms, gonna leave a default path and gonna continue. 28 megabytes gonna be downloaded. All right, this is uh, rather quick. Hope your internet connection is all right. And the installation is rather silent. And it's done. So now I can run it from here. Well, we are working with GTA 5 over here. So we're gonna pick the version we're working with, Windows. And now we need the location of GTA. So we have to have GTA 5 and we have to specify the folder. Let's try over here. Seems to be working. Continue, continue. So it's searching for keys for a while. And now I'm gonna try to open these files. Open file in, textures editor. And here it is, YTD. Let's see, we can export all textures with Control A. Yep, we want that, so let's hit Control A, or just hit export all textures. Uh, PNG is a good bet in my opinion. JPEG if you don't care about perfect quality. Yeah, JPEG definitely. Let's make a new folder called export. All right. Done with that. All right, to open the YDD file, let's just move it to the folder and double click it. Oh, here we are. We have two models, meshes rather. We can add textures. This way, for example, check it out. And here they are also applied, nice. What we need to do is right click the YDD file and pick export to open formats .odd and just pick the export folder. That is done now. This creates an ODD file and a folder. Let's keep going. All right, so you're gonna need to have 3ds Max for the next step. You're gonna have to get GIMS EVO with GTA V support. There's an offline downloader here. I prefer this one, to be honest. So I'm gonna just download it manually. All right. So let's extract it. I use 7-zip for that. And here we have the scripts folder. Let's get in here. We need to find the scripts folder of your 3ds Max installation. It has to be at least 3ds Max 2018, if I understand correctly. Or 9, if you upgraded it enough. And here we have startup. Here we have also have startup. Let's open these up. And now let's just copy this over here. Continue. Sure. Yes. All right, then we have the GIMS folder over here. Okay, the GIMS folder has to go to... Check this out. Percent sign, local, app, data, percent sign. Enter. And now we just copy by dragging this in here. Not into one of the folders, but just into empty space. Here it is now. Now over here on the right hand side in utilities, now let's install GIMS for GTA 5, I guess. We'll open the common.rpf file by double clicking it here. Going to data, materials, and effects. So let's export this material, fx, extract. And materials, materials.dat, extract. Here they are. Let's try like this now. Oh my, it worked. Let's import the 3D model. Pikachu. Pick the same folder because the textures are in there. It's just warnings this time at least. Oh hey, there's Pikachu. All right, it is time to export 
I guess let's try OBJ and see what happens then. Test. Save. Let's just use the right folder. We're just gonna go for defaults. And wait for this to happen. And it's done. Well, here we have it. Test.obj. 4 megabytes. Blender, come and save me. Take me from this hell. I'm just gonna delete everything and go to File, Import, OBJ, Wavefront. And here I'm gonna put the path over here and select the test.obj file and hit import. Well, hello there. Well, I don't know about the skeleton, the rig. That seems to not have been exported. Maybe if we export FBX. I don't know, man. I want everything to be included. Let's just go with the defaults. Whatever. Whatever. Well, it worked. It's much smaller, though. So let's undo this. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. And import the FPX instead. Here. Let's select the file. Click, click. Wait for a second. Uh, I guess it's it's there. Oh, okay. Let me just numpad dot to zoom in on it. Yeah, this doesn't look so great. So this has fake bones. There is a skeleton this time. Let's select hierarchically, shift make invisible, select hierarchically, shift click disable, and this one too. Oh, I guess that's it. If we go to materials, doesn't work yet. Go to file, external data, find missing files. Let's pick that folder and find missing files. Okay, that didn't work. Let's check the materials. Let's uh, just click the circle, pick image texture, pick Pika to diff, I guess. All right, maybe make the world a bit, little, bit, little, a little bit lighter, while at the same time disabling background, just scaling it up. I'm gonna fix that material as well. I guess this material over here needs uh, some transparency. Not, don't quite remember how to do that. I guess I'll link a video to that. These eyes look so dead. Anyways, we have a model now in Blender. So please hit that subscribe button. I think this video deserves it.